Hello my people. I'm in Orange County, house sitting for my family while they're in Ecuador. Shout out Ecuador. And I'm gonna hit up a Sabres. Let's go find some stuff to flip. This might have been valuable at one point. I don't think anyone's using these. Let's just check the comps on this thing. It's actually pretty good. I'm not sure what it does, but there are 12 listed and 25 sold. They all go around 20 something bucks, so at eight dollars I can easily double that and have still room wiggle room for profits, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing. a good chance to put Google to the test. Not worth it. I don't know if you remember last time I came and there was like a cool box like this with the GPS thing. Didn't have it inside. This one also doesn't have it. It's just like the holder for it or the weight, dash weight to keep it in place. I don't think anyone needs that. Okay, so I just grabbed this camera. It looks like a film camera. Yeah, film. I don't know if there's film in there or batteries that might be corroded. For the eight bucks. I think one of them recently sold for 80, but more realistically 30 or 40, so you still gotta take it on that. Nice little find. Surprised to see this hat up here. 350? That's at least 15 bucks right there. If I don't keep it myself. That's the problem, I love hats too much. This looks so cool. It's just not very valuable. It's a Bass Pro Shop shirt though. It's a bummer. Star Wars. Orchard or pretty close to Disneyland, so maybe this is for someone to wear at work. I'm gonna look this logo up. Yeah, there's some in here. 31. 10 sold, less than 20 bucks. This is eight. I'm gonna pass. So this is a dope jacket. It's two or lined. Two for one, but 30 bucks. A lot of similar ones, but they're only like 30. This one's got the lining though. Does that mean it's double the value? Alrighty folks, so believe it or not, that was the only sourcing I did. I did try to go to the Motivate My Closet place, but they were closed again. That was two or three times I've gone, they've been closed when they're supposed to be open. So don't know if I'll be going back there anytime soon, but um, point is, didn't end up going anywhere else because this didn't really feel like it. My wife and son were sick, so kind of just spent the time hanging out while we were house sitting in Orange County and um, had a good time. So, but it's Monday now. My store was on away mode. I have a bunch of sales to ship out, so we're heading to the J6 Flips mothership to, to handle those. And then we're going to go do some sourcing. So, productive Monday. Let's get after it. All right, folks, so I've already pulled all the stuff that's sold. This is a snap-on checker set that I got at that garage sale with a bunch of other snap-on things. I'm well in the profits on all that, and this is uh, one of the last items I have left. I also have a clock, I believe, but nice little sale there. I knew that I'd sell for the holidays because it's new in box, and it was the best condition that was available on eBay, so I was a little bit higher on the price on that. Garmin watch, I got that at Savers for five bucks. Look at that price tag up there, 350. Obviously, this is an older brand, so it's probably not that much now, but um, still a nice little flip. This is a mug. I mean, I got a bunch of these for five bucks. I think there was five different ones, and these just keep selling. So this um, Dymo printer, recently got this in one of the recent videos. 
Um, these are the cords. I had to buy a replacement cord, so I can just have them bunched up in there to keep them safe. This is a Gorman hat. It's kind of like a worker's hat. I don't know if you recognize that brand or not. Um, the material just felt nice. I would grab that. So that was easy. And then all these clothes items are actually really new. Um, I just got these Roan. Brand is Roan. Shorts. It would look That would be a logo on there, but also this uh, brand there, Roan. These are just like compression shorts on the inside of regular shorts, but training shorts. People like the brand, I guess, so um, that was a nice little flip. Tim Tebow, BCS National Championship from 2007. Um, not my favorite player for sure. I'm a Steeler fan, so never, for, never forgive him for what he did with the Broncos to us in the playoffs. And um, this Morbid shirt, a Morbid brand shirt. Um, if you recognize this logo, then you obviously like that kind of music. I'm not big on it, but... Um, I knew it would sell and there was a buyer for it, so. I'd also like to point out the Cal State Northridge hoodie. This is my productive hoodie. I wore it all throughout college. I bought it when I came to visit this campus um, in the San Fernando Valley here in Northridge. And I wore it all throughout my years at CSUN. And it was really like, if I was in a rush, I would just throw it on and handle business. And it was always paired with a Dodger fitted. So this is pretty much my productive uniform, if you may. Um, but. I always feel like I'm going to get a lot of things done when I wear this combo and uh, we're definitely getting a lot of things done. Right away I spot this patch. Hockey fans, this has to be a youth size. Yeah, youth. I'm taking that. So I've made my way to electronics. I usually check here first because the hard goods are kind of the things that go faster. <clears throat> or there's usually less of the clothes. People are going to sift through that, but they're not going to look as hard. So. Bye, thank you. LG you standby. Yeah. Where are the speaker? Okay, so the comps look good on this actually. 40 bucks. With the speakers, it's 70. So at least 30. So they have costumes already. People already donated them. At 10 bucks. It's not worth it. It's not a really good quality one. Got the shield, but not going to be worth it there. Then they had this cool thing. Grim Reaper looking thing. But it's broken. Like the head is cracked. I don't know how important the back of the head is. I'm sure there's not even all the pieces in there. So we'll just leave that. So I grabbed these Columbia shorts off the new rack. Get the Columbia brand there. 2XL, great size. And the clip still works. All right, so I'm halfway through the men's stuff. Not finding a lot of stuff in here. And they just had their Black Friday sale over the weekend, so I wasn't anticipating to find too many things. Some nice van shirt. I'm trying to be more picky with stuff though. I'm trying not to get so many everyday items. So I'm trying to get things that more like stand out, unique items. Oh, cool. Star Wars. See, things like this where it's not every day you find them. Like Vans or even Columbia is one of those brands that there seems to be a lot of it online. I'm trying to curate my store to make sure I have high quality items. So more quality items, but less quantity. Initially, my goal last year was to really build the store, so definitely achieved that goal now I'm able to rear back a little bit to grab things that really I really want to list another example of something I'd usually pick up is this Nike polo I mean it's a nice shape people like Nike but again there's a lot of Nike online and it's only gonna be worth like maybe 15 maybe 20 so not worth the time anymore so this Packer shirt's pretty cool as long as all the buttons are here I'll grab it but uh, Again, this is a fringe one because there's a lot of sports gear online. Hey, check that out. Oh, there's burn marks here. What do you guys think? It's an Arcteric shirt, but it has these little... Someone must have been camping and burned the front of it. I might have to risk it on that. What would you do? This is a new-to-me brand. Faherty. Um, they use, like, organic cottons and stuff. And surprisingly, these comps are nice. This one has a hole in it, so I'm not going to take it, but... Keep an eye out for that brand. The shirt's hilarious. Obviously a grammar joke for the Oxford comma. Don't use it. Interesting that they would make a shirt of an anonymous group. Like, wouldn't that give you away? 
This jersey's not good. It's, I mean, it's printed onto this thing, but check out the throwback Toti. Pretty cool. What a random shirt. This is a hilarious movie if you've never seen Team America World Police. This is World Soccer Police 2015 FIFA Takedown. I don't think anyone wants this, but it's a funny shirt. Alright, I'm perusing the women's section now just to see if anything stands out. I really don't know a lot of the brands here, but if something looks cool or expensive, I'll check it. Like this Star Wars thing. It looks cool. It doesn't have any weird crunchy spots on the fleece. Never mind, the back has that weird hard spot I was telling you about. I've had luck with cuddle duds. I think it's because they're like soft. People like obviously comfort. And this is kind of a cool design. Size small, which isn't the best, but could be worth it. So let me just get it to uh, supplement my inventory here. Here's a cool Squid Games jacket. I've never seen it, but I know that it's from that. Um, the ones online all sold in October, obviously, or in September for Halloween. And they all sold with pants. So because it's way far off the holiday, and I don't feel like looking for the pants to match this, I'm just going to leave it. But it can be worth it. It's selling from like around 30, so by the time Halloween comes around, these will maybe start going again. So this is what I mean by standing out. This material with the hole in it to like air out on the elbows as well. I look at the brand and a lot of them are selling for a lot more than most items. I think some of the newer ones are over a hundred bucks. I don't know if this is the color it's supposed to be or if it washed out that way. I just don't know a lot about it. Obviously there's not a lot of items that have this side on there and if it does, usually worth a little bit of money. So, so the comps have one of them straight down with the zipper is 70 but the side zip, like the way it is here, 125 on Poshmark, 125 on eBay. Either way, looks like it's worth picking up. So I spent 50 bucks on everything. I really hope that jacket's not stained like that, but either way, nice little finds. This thing alone will be 30 bucks, so nice finds overall. All right, so we're back at the house. In total, we spent $50.90, so 51 bucks. Let's start with the biggest disappointment of them all, this Arcteric shirt. I mean, it's an awesome shirt, but there are burn marks right there. One bigger one, one smaller one, and then there's one that kind of looks like they got the ash before it got the shirt. But um, it's a medium, which is an okay size. And the back looks like, I don't know if it got stuck somewhere and they yanked at the shirt. And, like, there's a stripe. Like, either they got mauled by something or they just, like, dragged the shirt and it scratched on something. But either way, it is damaged. Uh, I'm not sure. What would you guys do? Would you still list it? Would you not? Would you? I mean, can you? Can that be salvaged with a hole like that? Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to list it and make it very evident that there are damaged parts. But uh, maybe someone out there still wants it. It was just too cool to leave behind for, you know, a couple bucks. So there's that one. There's the Packers Hawaiian shirt, size medium, which is okay. Um, it's not going to go for crazy prices, but I did like the buttons are like brown, kind of wood looking, but they are plastic. Um, and then Packers are one of those franchises in football that always have a fan base that um, even when they're doing poorly like this year, people will still support them. So and this is a Star Wars shirt, believe it or not. If you look closely, you see Boba Fett there and a the cool Japanese style art there. And uh, he's there again. You can kind of see his head on that thing. Really cool shirt from me. Then there's his jersey, Carolina Panthers. I'm not Carolina, Florida Panthers. Uh, hockey jersey. It's a youth size, unfortunately, but it's in very great shape. Um, no numbers on it, which is kind of, uh, kind of lame. But again, great quality, great uh, shape. So nice pickup. Then there's his women's jacket, which kudos to me for going out and uh, trying the women's section out. Um, usually I just kind of skip over it, but I've seen enough of the brands now to at least skim through and kind of try to find something, and this was something that stood out. Slant zip, um, the collar, the color, it was just definitely a look up. So, cold smoke jacket, again, they were priced, a lot of them priced over $100. Um, I'm not sure if this color is like this or stained, I can't really tell. We'll see how that goes with that again. Another women's fine, Cuddle Duds Small. Um, it is a comfy hoodie. These usually run a little big, so I'll note that, obviously, but everything has the measurements, so 
Um, this is just one of those pickups that I've had success with before. Usually I find them at the bins. This one I found at the Salvation for a couple bucks, so I thought I'd grab it as well. Pretty plain Nike shirt. Um, actually, cool design. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It seems like a soccer, maybe England, maybe Netherlands. Um, either way, the very cool t-shirt. Uh, Nike, slim fit, great shape. So for a couple bucks, I can at least get 15 to 20 bucks for that thing. And then the last thing, uh, last of the clothes at least, these Columbia shorts, 2XL, 9-inch inseam, which is cool. Um, the snap works, the zippers are in good shape, and uh, someone just didn't like them, so they gave them back. Hopefully there's someone out there who is looking for a double XL Columbia shorts and will grab them from me. So, again, paid a couple bucks for that. And the last item from today was this LG, it's like a speaker kit thing it's supposed to come with speakers but this is just like the base of it uh with the speakers it would have been about 70 bucks this alone is 30 bucks there obviously is no price tag on it as you can see and she kind of made a joke about it like what is this i don't even know what this is i said yeah me neither and she priced it at three dollars so a uh, nice little come up there and it's super light so it should actually ship not too crazy and uh make a nice little flip there's also an express shirt around here somewhere where where did that express shirt go? Oh, it's right here. I'm actually wearing it. Um, I tried it on. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. It's one of those shirts that maybe is not my style. Um, if you've ever seen Person to Person, the main character in there, Benny, goes around asking people about his shirt. So um, if you get that reference, good for you. That's a great movie. Um, but what do you guys think? Is this something that I would wear? Or is this like more of a Bruno Mars kind of a thing? Let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you all for watching. Appreciate you coming along. Take care. Oh.